Let's talk about the three most important things you can do as a seller before you list your home. Hello and welcome to the Aaron Powers Show. I'm Aaron Powers with Keller Williams Southern Nevada and today is episode 10. Wow, double digits. We, we sure have come far. Thanks for all your support thus far. Today's episode is for all of you who are, have been thinking about or considering possibly listing your home in the future. It's going to be the three most important things you can do before you do list your property. So here we go. Number one, probably the most important declutter, depersonalize, and clean, which is pretty basic, right? However, when I go into homes and I see, you know, we all, we all live the way that's comfortable for us, the, the way that we really want to live in the house. And truthfully, when you're selling your home, you want to push it forward to all the people who want to live in it, right? So it's not necessarily the way that you want it to be all the time. So we're going to talk a little bit about that first. Um, so declutter, really, you're going to be moving anyways, right? You're going to need to pack, so let's get started early. Let's pack up all those things we don't have to have or we don't need right away. Um, really just declutter. You know, you want your, your countertops and your kitchen or your bathrooms to really have as little on them as possible, possibly even nothing on them, right? So you want to think about this as if you're going into a model home. You know, I'm sure you've viewed model homes before. And what do you see when you go into model homes? Everything is very clean very bright, very neutral, right? Not a whole lot sitting out. Um, that way, you know, you can imagine what your life would be like if you lived in the house. And that's exactly what you want for the buyers that come to see your property as well. They want to envision it as if, oh, you know what? My dining room table would fit there. Oh, this is where I can put my TV. Oh, all my little small appliances will fit on the kitchen counters. If all of your things are out and about and spread out, it's going to be harder for them to envision that. So we want to declutter as much as possible. Depersonalize. Yes, we want to remove you from the house. <laughs> you know, as, as much as it sounds funny, it's very true. Um, you know, any personal photos you have of yourself, um, any personal, you know, sports teams that you love, um, you know, that might not be local, of course. Um, obviously, anything, you know, Golden Knights or lights or aces or aviators now, all that stuff is probably okay. Um, any other affiliation, you know, we all have our favorites. I have mine as well. And it, it's always good to just put that stuff away previously. You know, before you have people coming in to look at your home, you want them to see it in, in its best light. And also, you know, they don't want to walk around and see all your pictures all over the walls. They want to be able to see where they could put their photos in the house. So we want to depersonalize the home as much as possible, make it very neutral, you know, very soft and, and, and light and bright when they walk into the home. Clean. This one's pretty obvious. You know, however, we aren't always the cleanest people. I know my home isn't spotless all the time. I imagine yours isn't either, and that's okay. And we're getting ready to, to list the property. We want the home to be as clean as possible. So even if, you know, you have to possibly hire cleaners uh, just for, you know, that one time, um, very important to, to clean it as much as possible. You know, we don't want water spots on our mirrors and, and hair. Like, I have dogs, so mine's dog hair. <laughs> I have a, a yellow lab, and she leaves dog hair all over the place. So um, very important. You want it to be as clean as possible. And also, we want it to be light and bright. So, you know, all of you that, you know, you, I, I know we all sometimes work crazy hours. It's Vegas, after all. Um, I have curtains in my bedroom that can eliminate basically any light known to man, and I'm sure you do as well. We're going to want to remove those when we're selling our house. We want to remove those for showings. Any drapery that you love that doesn't let all the light in, same thing. We want to make sure um, all the windows are accessible. They're letting as much light into the house as possible. And also for windows, make sure you clean them inside and out. You know, I mean, if it rained or we have sprinklers sometimes in the back that might hit the house, you know, whatever it might be, we want them to be as clean and bright as possible. So always um, keep that in mind for yourself. And the last point on light and bright is your light bulbs. Yes, you want every light bulb in the house to work, even the one over the stove. Every single one. You want every light bulb on. You want it to be as bright as possible, especially for your photos. Um, very important. We always get professional photos taken. At least you should be getting professional photos taken if you're 
favorite realtor is not using a professional photographer, please find one that does. It is very important to have professional photos taken and they will all tell you, have all of your lights on, have them all the same type of light, same color, you want it to be as bright as possible. So all of that broken down was step one. Step two in the, the three things is going to be your landscaping. Um, I know it sounds kind of simple, um, and this is a big one I feel like people really, really focus on the home itself and the inside because, you know, obviously the inside is going to sell the home. However, the first thing that the buyers see when they drive up to your house is the outside. So we really want to make sure all of our trees are trimmed, especially our palm trees in this city. Um, you know, I know a lot of us in HOAs, we have to cut the palm trees anyways. However, we, we don't want them hanging. We want them up nice. We want them trimmed. Um, any of your other trees that have just been growing for a while, it's time to get them cut. Get them trimmed back, shape them, make them look as nice as possible. Same thing with your, you know, your bushes and your hedges. Let's get them all shaped. Let's make them look as, as pristine as we possibly can. Uh, if you have a, you know, a spot that needs to fill up with a little bit more rock or desert landscaping, get that taken care of. Especially backyard too, front and back, we want it to be as presentable as possible. You know, the nicer, the cleaner that it is, the higher value you're going to get for your home. And then the third one, and maybe even um, the most important in the long run of your transaction, fix and repair anything you know that's broken. Now, I'm not saying, you know, spend thousands of dollars and remodel your kitchen, nothing like that. I'm saying if you know of something that doesn't work, and you know it doesn't work, let's fix it and get it replaced now. So, you know, I, you know my my dishwasher doesn't work or my garbage disposal doesn't work. Let's fix those items. Let's get those taken care of. That's one less thing that's going to become a possible issue down the road. You know, even little things like maybe you have, uh, you know, an old bedroom door that has a hole in it or, or, or drywall that needs to be patched somewhere or, you know, paint or anything. We want to get those little things taken care of. Um, little now could turn into something bigger down the road. So. We, Definitely want to make sure they're easy things to just take care of and get out of the way. Um, if it's something you're kind of unsure of, you know, should I do it, should I not? Ask your realtor that you know and trust. See if they think it would be of value for you to, to put possibly a little bit of money in and, and do that. Um, and really it's because we always get a home inspection done throughout the escrow process. And if you're the buyer, you're in, say you're the, in the buyer's shoes at this point, and you're buying a home, and you get a home inspection back and there's all these little things, you know, it's just, it, it just deters people. You know, it makes them, you know, all of a sudden they want to ask for this big list of stuff. So if we can get a lot of that taken care of and just eliminate those other issues we might have through the escrow process, I'm telling you, it's going to save you so much time and effort and money in the long run. It, it's well worth your time. So I hope that was a little bit of information that could be good for you. If you are thinking about listing your house, definitely want to go through these three things. Get it ready and obviously contact your realtor, you know, when the time is right. Who do you know that might be looking to get their home ready to list here in 2019?